Hello and welcome to another Junior Game Creators Bite Sized. In this lesson we're going to be adding a leaderboard to our snake template game. The idea of this is you will be able to add your own leaderboard to track players' scores and keep track of who scored what in any game you have that uses a score system. Whether it's snake or a keepy uppy game or a space shooting game, you're going to be able to keep track of who scored what and when uh, and then really go for those bragging rights at the end. So I'm using the snake template game because you may already be familiar with lists if you've worked on this one before. But don't worry if you've not, then just follow these instructions and you'll be able to create your own. So first thing we're going to do is create a blank sprite and we're going to call that leaderboards. This is where we're going to store all the code for our high score leaderboards. And we're going to create two lists. Now we need one for the names and one for the scores. And the reason we're creating these as two separate lists is because one uses letters and one uses numbers. So it's going to make our code a lot easier to have two separate lists. So the first list we're going to call high scores. And the second list we're going to call names. That way we can keep track of who scored what and when. And I'm just going to position these uh, where I'd like them to appear when the game over screen shows. So I'm only going to add three high scores at a time to my leaderboard. So they don't need to be too long at all. And then we're going to add our first bit of code, which is to hide these lists when the game is playing. We don't want these lists covering up the game screen. We only want to see them when it's game over, when you've done the best you can and you're ready to enter your high score. So we're going to take hide list names and hide list high scores. Then we're going to start to build our code for checking whether or not you scored a high score and then displaying it on the list. And we're going to do that when we receive the message for game over. So it's a good idea to use these broadcast messages in your games just so you can check different states. And of course we want to see the leaderboards so we're going to show them again at the start. And then we're going to use the ask question and wait block. Now this is fantastic for getting information from your players. And already it says what's your name, which is what we need to know. Now we're going to add a few if-then-else blocks, and these are going to check the position of your score against the other scores already on the leaderboard. Now I only want three scores at a time on my leaderboard, so I need three loops. I'm going to have two if-then-elses and one if. And what we're comparing here is your player's score versus the first item in the list of high scores. So if your score is higher, we're going to put it in that position, and if it's not, we're going to move on. Insert, insert score at position 1 of high scores if you've got more than the highest score so far and then we're going to insert your name which is the answer from that question at position 1 of names now if you didn't score higher we need to check it against the second place so we're going to do that whole thing again if then else and we can just duplicate these here because all we need to do is change the numbers so if your score is greater than the item at position 2 of high scores, then we're going to add it to position 2. And the good thing about inserting is everything else beneath it gets bumped down one. So the, the old second place score will now move to the third place score. And finally, if you're not better than position 2, we're just going to check if you're better than position 3. So duplicate again. Update the positions to say 3. And now we should be able to check against the top three highest scores. And if you beat them, add them. If you don't, don't do anything. So I'm just going to play a little bit, put in my name. 10 is not a very good score. But it goes in at the top because there's nothing else in front of it. So I'm going to try and do a little bit better this time. 20. So we should go in above. So yeah, Jack2 has scored 20. And finally, if we get an even higher score, it should pop us to the top and all the other scores will move down. Fantastic. Now if I kept playing and kept adding scores, it's going to keep adding lists to the leaderboard, uh, names and scores to the leaderboard, but it's only going to check it against the top three. So I need to make sure that if a score is lower than the third place one, it gets knocked off the bottom. And we're going to do the same for the names as well. So we're going to say forever. We want to repeat until this is true. 
and we're going to check if your last place score is worse. So we never want to have more than three items in our list at once. And everything will naturally get pushed off the bottom. So if the length of high score, that is the number of items in that list, is less than four, or keep repeating it until that is true, sorry, we're going to delete the last position. So keep deleting stuff until there's less than four items. And then we'll do the same for our names list as well. And that should mean, if I play again, it's not going to add a fourth item to the list. It's just going to reshuffle it into the top three. So let's go for a good score. Not a bad score at all. See how awesome Jack did. Top score overall, and we knocked off our lowest score of 10 points. Now, you can add all of this stuff into any game you're using, any game that you've made that uses a score system. So if you've got points or scores, pop it into your game, follow these instructions, and it's going to work great for you as well. If you're using a game where you want to get the lowest score, maybe a timer, you want to complete something in the shortest amount of time, all you're going to do is reverse some of these expressions. So you want to know if score is less than position 1. And you want to know if score is less than position 2. Maybe a little tricky to work out at first, but stick with it and I'm sure you'll get it.